players in the last week or so have really gotten a better sense of what living in a bubble and playing in a bubble, you know, what it will include and how limiting it is, how restrictive, how isolating it will be. This is a concern for the league, and, and, and I'm told that they're going to have a mechanism uh, in the agreement that they announce that would allow players who don't want to play to stay home. That was just a little bit of that conversation. Here is the one and only Jalen Rose. J Jay, I I you heard of that part of that, and obviously Woj was reporting this all yesterday. Are should we be concerned that a whole lot of players are not going to come back and play when they restart? Be concerned. And as if you watch this show, you've heard me say multiple days, we need to stop treating athletes and NBA players like they're essential workers. These are really talented and skilled basketball players that made it to the ultimate level. 80% of the season has already been decided. They've already given 25% of their paychecks back to the NBA. So therefore, if you play for the Lakers or the Clippers or the Bucks, you want to find a way to resume the season because you have a legit chance to be a contender to win a championship. If your team's 17 through 22, you don't truly have the motivation because you know you're not going to win a championship, yet you're going to have to make all of the sacrifices that everybody else is going to have to do, like be in a bubble six or seven weeks initially to play eight regular season games without being with your significant others. Yeah, but that, being sort of isolated from everyone and them isolated from you. And, and, and at this very particular moment in American history, not just pertaining to the coronavirus, but obviously to other issues as well. We had Matt Barnes yesterday on jail, and we were talking with him about how he has heard from some players that they have concerns about going back to play during this time of protest and all of that. How much of a factor do you think that is here? What are you hearing? I think it's a major factor because... One of the most famous and iconic moments in the history of sports never took place on the field or the court, and that was the Ali Summit. That was the press conference where he was there with Bill Russell, Jim Brown, and Lou Alcindor, who became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And then you saw Tommy Smith and John Carlos post-gold medal um, uh, cer ceremony at the Olympics. You saw Colin Kaepernick on the field pregame. So there are a lot of different ways to express yourself. And now I believe with social media, you can have the same activism without necessarily having a game, especially if it's going to be in the bubble. But again, I want everybody to know something. The essential workers, doctors and nurses, they are willing to sacrifice their health to make sure that we're better. Don't believe when you go to the supermarket or when you go to UPS, that person just happy to be at work risking their life. Mm. They're doing it because they need to pay their bills. That's the opposite of an NBA player. These are multimillionaires. Why risk your health when you already live in the suburbs and you have money in the bank and you can play to another day and play to another season? So there will be players, a ton of them, hesitant to go play in the bubble. These rosters will not mirror a lot of ways what they mirrored when the season stopped.